they lose all that elasticity, you get air out. So when they're breathing out, even though like you got, like in three seconds, you dumped all the air out of your lungs. So they'll go, nine, 10 seconds, 11 seconds, air still coming out, 12 seconds, air still coming out. And that's giving me maximum effort. It's very consistent, just like it's supposed to be. It just takes them forever to get the air out. Where for most of my younger patients, um, they just boom, the air is just out right away because they, they're young and the, the, there's no damage to the lung. Put your hands just on your cheeks so they don't puff up. Go a little higher. There you go. I'm going to get you started in a nice pattern. Here we go. In, out. 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 All the way in. And all the way out. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, blow, 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 big breath in. Good. So what I learned from this test is a couple different things. Um, there's raw airway resistance. So it's kind of looking at how turbulent, let's say that you had like, um, gosh forbid, somebody had a tumor inside their airway or some kind of airway restriction as it was coming through there. So we could see that resistance as air flows through there. That's when you're doing that nice in and out. It's looking for the how well the air kind of flows in and out. So it's looking at pressure changes out here, kind of like a, like a speaker would be almost. Pressure changes in here, pressure changes outside, and it can measure how much air is left inside your lungs after you breathe out. You hear the word obstruction? They're thinking that there must be something in the airway. Technically, it's about obstructing the air getting out.